Hey heroes, how's it going? I'm Gio and we're checking out the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom third trailer for today. I want to play it. I almost hesitate to make this video because I don't want to spoil anything for myself because such an important part of the original Breath of the Wild was the immersion factor, but I'm going to watch it either way because I don't know. I'm just so excited, man. Like I can't help myself. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Welcome. There's just one month left until the launch of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god, only one month. Alright, here we go. It's a trailer, so it's probably not going to be too long. But they're probably going to want to wow us. I love that they're setting the atmosphere right away. Look at that form. <laughs> oh no, he heard me. He had to change it. <laughs> I can't believe that you have what appears like almost the entire original game's worth of land to explore. the castle raising up into the sky. That's gotta be Ganondorf. Whoa. Whoa. Zelda, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. Who is speaking there? You combined, they combined a shield and a sword with that fusion. That is ridiculous. Wait, you can you can escort people on like a cart? Low gravity? Minecarts? Minecart battling? I almost feel like I shouldn't be watching this. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. I do hope that there's like an extra mode. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. Oh. Okay, Ganondorf back in full swing. He's regenerated. He's no longer wrinkly and dehydrated. But you are not alone. Side on. Link. You are our final hope. <laughs> I shouldn't have watched this, but now I really... My... Oh, God. It looks like it's going to be so good, though. Looks like it's going to be so good. Link. You must find me. What I was going to say is that I wish that there would be an unlockable mode. Like, if you beat the game or, or somewhere in the story, if, like, you have to play as Zelda... Everyone's been saying that, that like, that would be a really cool thing to do is to be able to play as Zelda. But whatever. I mean, it's fine. We can try and find her again. We could try to rescue her again. It's fine. <laughs> I guess you could play as her in the Hyrule Warriors type of version of the game. 
Yo, but dude, oh my god. So, so like, all the cutscenes and stuff that they were showing with the, all the characters that are coming back from the original game, at least so I spotted some of the characters, it looked like. Um, definitely Sidon, so fighting alongside of him and all the other Hyruleans and escorting them on, like, a cart to, like, go from one destination to the other, fighting enemies on mine carts that are side by side next to each other, which, honestly, this is weird, it, it doesn't make any sense because I just played Resident Evil 4 Remake, which is in no way the same type of vibe as Zelda, but there was a, there was a section that was, like, mine carts, and you were, like, shooting at people in the mine carts on the side, so it made, it made me immediately think of that, even though <laughs> most people aren't going to think that. That was the trailer. Very short. I mean, obviously it's a trailer. It wasn't like a full gameplay demonstration like the last video, but still showed enough to get me pretty hype. They had like you jumping in between platforms that looked like anti-gravity. Obviously the whole land of Hyrule below, the land above with the floating islands, being able to craft different types of vehicles by fusing objects and materials together. And then just the potential for the story with how dramatic and over the top that it looks like it's going to get. And we got a good look at Ganondorf's face, which is very, very cool. So I mean, I, oh my God, I want this. I want this right now. I know it's like a month away. It is like one month away, but I have to wait. I'm going to shove like all the other games that I should be playing off to the side. Like I still haven't beaten Pokemon uh, Violet. I, I started it and then I just put it down because I wasn't necessarily super invested in it, but like I, I want this game right now. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I know it was a short video, but I hope that you're as hype as me and I need to figure out if I'm going to be streaming it or if I'm going to be kind of just embracing the full immersion factor of the game and playing it by myself. So thank you heroes for joining me. I'll catch you on the next transmission.